Hey guys, back again with another review. Uh, this time for the game Super Mario Brothers Power Up Card Game. Uh, plays uh, three to eight players, ages eight and up, and you should be finished within 10 to 30 minutes, depending on player count. And in this game is a uh, player elimination game. Uh, you're trying to be the last one standing and make sure that you at least have one of your lives, which is right here. You get everybody gets four of these tokens right here, and uh, let me show you the contents. You get the rules. You get some tokens, uh, some life tokens, and it comes with the uh, question mark block power up cards and level cards. And in this game, all you're going to do, I have it set up for a four-play game. It's going to start with the uh, dealer for the first round and then continue left. This does not come with the game. This is for another card game, but I find it helps um, just keep track and make things, you know, streamline a little easier. So the dealer is going to deal out cards, starting with himself and then everybody to the left. And then to his left, that's when they're going to start looking and trading cards. So let's see what he's got. He's got a number seven. Now these cards are uh, numbered from one to 12. And uh, what you're trying to do is not end up with the um, lowest numbered card. That's how you lose a life. So this player has a seven. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, he's going to decide to keep it. And Ooh, this player has a nine. He's also going to decide to keep it. And, ah, third player has a castle card. Now, when you have a castle card, you have to play it immediately. Uh, you draw another uh, question mark card. You cannot have question mark cards played on you or lose a life this round. So, very powerful card. So, he's going to go ahead, reveal it. Uh, nobody can trade with him. Um, and so, he's... He's pretty much safe for this round. Um, he draws another one of these. And so the dealer looks at his card and, oh, he has a 12. So he's pretty much safe too. If he wanted to, he could choose to discard this card and then reveal the top card right away, which, oh, it's another 12. Perfect, go ahead and do that. So then everybody would start revealing. So he has a seven and he has a nine. So at this point, um, pretty much player two is not looking so good. So he would play, let's see, um, his power up card. Now these tell you exactly when you could play them. So this is the uh, trampoline, which says play after levels are revealed. Trade with your level with the topmost card from the deck. So he's going to go ahead, do that, discard that one, and discard this card, and let's see if he gets a better card. Oh, and he gets a castle. All right, cool. So both these players would be safe. Um, so it's down to the third player and the dealer. So he's going to check his power up card, and uh, that doesn't really do anything for him because he would only be at 11, so it might not be a good time to play that. And um, knowing that he's safe, the dealer's not going to play his card, which is minus uh, one level, or one, minus one coin to any level. So uh, when everything's said and done, player three is going to lose a life. And the dealer button would go on to the next player. And then you would rinse, wash, and repeat until, you know, one person has is left standing and all the other players have zero lives um yeah super fun game the rules are really really well done um they give you a perfect example of how a round should go um there's also uh other video tutorials online i uh, explain this um, I got this at Target. You can only get this at Target, and it it was for uh, about $15, which is not bad at all. It came in the sweet box. Um, the box is pretty much hollow, though. 
and that's all it comes up with. But still, you know, dungeon level, box art, not too bad. Um, the theme is pretty thin. I mean, this, you don't do any of this in the actual video game, uh, obviously. I don't even think in a Mario Party game. But, I mean, if you have a younger kid and they like Mario, th this is definitely going to gravitate towards them. Um, really simple filler game and affordable as well. And uh, so, yeah, I give this card game a cyclic grading. Go ahead and buy it, guys.